quick tools. Today, I want to share with you the process of how I modeled my Halloween trick or treat candy holder. I'm going to use this design that I googled online as my reference. To make the pumpkin, I added a sphere mesh, and then I deleted the faces from it so that I would be left with a 1 8 part that will make up the full pumpkin with modifiers later on. Delete the faces on top to create the opening of the candy holder, and flatten the faces at the bottom. You can take advantage of the 3D cursor here when scaling the faces. Then, select the faces on the side, and press I to inset them by a little. Extrude them afterwards by pressing E. This will help us create the grooves on the pumpkin. When you are done, add an empty at the world's origin, and give your mesh an array modifier. Set the number of duplicates to 8, and tick the constant offset instead of relative. On the object offset, and pick the empty that you've added. Then, rotate your empty until the meshes fan out and form a complete circle. On the merge option, to merge the sides together. But notice that the first and last mesh in the array will not merge together. This is especially obvious if you turn on cavity visibility in your viewport. To fix this, we can add a weld modifier to the mesh. Next, I give it some thickness by adding a solidify modifier with the even thickness option on. We can then add a subdivision modifier to round up the whole mesh. If you want to add some realism and believability to the model, you can also add a displace modifier before the subdivision. Create a new texture, and under the texture properties, select clouds. Go back to the displace modifier and set the strength to 0.1, and this will give the mesh a very nice randomized displacement. To create the face object, I added a single vert to the scene. If you do not have this item in your add mesh list, just turn on the add mesh extra objects add-on in your preference. With snap to face turned on, I extruded the vertices one by one to kind of draw the face in the front view. I used the mirror modifier with clipping turned on so that I only need to draw one half of the face. Press F to connect the ends of your vertices to complete the loop. Simply select a vertice and duplicate it to another part of the face to draw the next feature. When the face is finished, press F to fill up the faces and insert edges by selecting two vertices and pressing J to join them. Next, add a solidify modifier to give it thickness and then a bevel modifier if you need to round up the edges. Now we can boolean the pumpkin with the face object. Scale the face object down from the world's origin to decide how deep you want the deboss effect to be. The handle part is fairly easy and straight to the point. I added a cylinder without the caps, and rotated it so that the handle is in the correct orientation. Then delete the lower half of the faces, and modify the shape accordingly. Finish it off with a subdivision if needed, solidify, and then bevel modifiers respectively. As for the knobs, I also use a cylinder and modify its shape to achieve the design I wanted, and then mirror it to the other side as well. And that's all to it. All that is left is to parent everything together and move on to materials and lighting. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy Halloween! Hi! <laughs> Subscribe!